Today is Friday. We are in the shop and we have got a ton of construction panels to make. Here we go. What are you doing now, Matt? I am notching up some horizontal pieces for the construction panels. here. Now what we're doing now is taking a link out of the fence to make it fit and fit tightly and properly. You don't want a loose fence because pets get out and intruders get in. And we don't deal with neither one of those. It was all hands on deck to get this order done in time. Even Eric stopped by to motivate. Good job to everybody. Keep up the good work. Gotcha. What I was just doing was tightening the brace bands down to brace the fence to keep it tight. After that, we'll be putting wire tires. That's what the guys there are putting on to keep the fence secure at the bottom and top. We're putting together um, wire ties to you know hold your fence together. So if it gets real windy, it's not just you know gate clips. Cause then it'll be like, wow, 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 wow. but but with those on, then then you know, see how tight that is. Wire ties, tedious but vital process. <laughs> you good? Now early in the week, the guys had a repair to do. There was a roll gate. It was pretty long and. As originally built, it wobbled too much, I think is the technical term. Uh, so Matt and the guys ran out to put a wind brace on it and hopefully stiffen that frame up. So it's basically like having a real stiff arm, oh, okay. uh, like just a little bit outside of the gate, but it keeps the gate from wobbling. Why we're out here, you can see the wobble. Right? It's like, you mean it's not supposed to do that? This is where I'm going to weld on the stubs to attach a piece of uh, top rail to. You basically just have little pieces of pipe sticking out, and then you put another long piece of top rail on it. And the idea being that not only does this help hold it straight but then once you have a, a brace on the uprights and another piece it's going to be able to kind of keep it a little stiffer. You basically just try to imagine a three inch piece, a four inch piece, a five inch piece and then what I normally do is just weld this side on and let it kind of go up a little bit to the middle and then I'll tack it to the middle since it's sticking out and I'll take the grinder and cut like three quarters of the way around it so that you can bend this piece back in here and then I'll re-weld. Uh, just have you maybe hold it up in place and I'll just go and tack it.
10 millimeter, no matter what Joe says. Eric likes to say things very confident. Yeah? yeah. Let's very see, what is it? Uh, whenever it's a 10 millimeter. Dang. Yep, it Too fits perfectly. Small. Oh! 12, like I said. Oh. <laughs> 13, like uh -huh. I said. I believe I said 13. Yeah. I believe I said, I said 9 or 13. 13. Or see, I called it. Guys, if you're participating in the free Amazon gift card competition, which you should be because it's a free $100 gift card to Amazon, this week's code is my salesman. Also, shout out to Aloha Fence for sending me some awesome swag. Ah, like a thing of beauty. So we just got done putting the wind brace on. We got that on there pretty good. We tightened up the truss rods. Those were a little loose. Probably just from rolling, it's a 30 plus foot roll gate. And that's about as long as you'd ever want to make one. Over time, they can loosen up and get a little wobbly, but uh, we did the best that we could do here by putting the brace on and tightening up the truss rods. So uh, I think we did a pretty good job and we're out of here. Nothing's too hard for the fence boys. Another week is in the books. We got the big order done in time because everyone pitched in. Huge shout out to the team at Ozark Fence, guys and gals. I really appreciate you. Also, shout out to Braden for uh, filling the talking heads role for the last couple of weeks. It's also much appreciated. But for now, I'm Joe Everest, the fence expert, reminding you that good fences make good neighbors.